Welcome to Rod's Tabletop Hoops on YouTube. This is Rod, and we have our third playing play game of this 1968-69 ABA tournament. The teams are the Dallas Chaparrales hosting the Los Angeles Stars, formerly the Anaheim Amigos. Uh, the Amigos in 1967-68 only drew about 1,293 fans per contest, so they were not making any money, so they were bought up for $450,000 and moved to Los Angeles and became the Los Angeles Stars. In the future, of course, they turn into the UF, Utah Stars and actually won an ABA championship in 1971, I believe. But anyway, here's a couple of the players. Might be able to recognize John Beasley, Cincy Powell, Cliff Hagen is the player coach who plays about half of the games typically. So that's uh, probably for the playoffs. I'll probably use him uh, periodically in the uh, playoffs if they win this playoff uh, play-in game today. Uh, Charles Beasley comes off the bench. Ryan Lockman, Bob, B Bob Bedell comes off the bench. Those are the only cards I had from my original 68 uh, rookie card series that I bought from Lena Sports a couple months ago. Uh, as you can see, the... Um, Anaheim Amigo cards here of Warren Davis and Ben Wareley. They are holdovers. They actually moved to L.A. with the team. Um, so they'll be probably playing today. Warren Davis actually made the all-star team and came off the bench many games for Los Angeles. So look out for that for him. Uh, Jim Jarvis, uh, he was also he was in Pittsburgh last year, but he was like the only other guard from the set that I could actually place in card form here. So anyway... Let's play some ball. It's uh, starting lineups are all-star second team, all-star, all NBA, let's say. John Beasley at power forward for Dallas. John Smith, good rebounding center who fouls a lot. Ron Boone, the Iron Man. I wasn't going to put Iron Man on his uh, my self-created card here. I just put instant offense because uh, he hadn't established his consecutive game streak too much. This was uh, pretty much his rookie year. He made the all-rookie team, and he did play all 78 games, so he's on his, his streaks going, but he, that's nothing earth-shattering in year one of his long career in the ABA and the NBA. Glenn Coombs at guard. Cincy Powell, uh, he passed away a few months ago, but uh, a heck of a player, and uh, he actually passed away quite recently, and uh, borderline all-star almost every year of his career. Average 19.4, just point one ahead of John Beasley. The L.A. Stars, uh, they are winners of 33 games and losers of 45 uh, versus the 41-win Dallas uh, Chaparrales. So they're going to have um, Merv Jackson uh, at, at the shooting guard, a reliable guard, a late season addition for the last 32 games or so, screaming George Lehman, who loves to fire up the three and went for 19 points of ball game in limited games. George Radar Stone, he is a shooter. He looks for his shot once he crosses midcourt. He'll be guarded by John Beasley. Well, actually, now that I look at it, George Stone has a 10 on the offensive glass. And I will move him to small forward and six foot four. Larry Miller with an 11 will actually play the uh, power forward slot. So they're kind of weak in the rebounding at the forward slots. Easy Ed Johnson's at center. So Easy Ed is a plus two on the jump ball. Plus two for John Smith of the champs. So here we go. One for Johnson. Two plus five is seven. Two plus one is three. Easy tap for Easy Ed. And here we go. Guard. Where Jackson P. Collins. And that's a nine, and that's a foul. Merv is going to be going to the line. The foul is on the playmaker. That's Ron Boone's first. Two shots for Merv. Misses on seven. And I got a seven. Kind of jinxed him there, didn't I? And a four. He's got the second. Stars lead 1-0. The Chaps. Instant offense. Ron Boone. That's a six. No good by Booney. Or the Booner, as Bob Costas called him. Okay, rebound. Automatic offensive rebound for Boone versus Lehman at the guard. Uh, playmaker battle. So...
That could be a factor in this game. Offensive rebounding from the lower positions. Here comes the center, John Smith. Six, he's going to pass. Playmaker defender's card. Lehman guarding Boone. Eight over Johnson. That's a five. That's a foul on Easy Ed. Easy fouling. He, I think he fouled out of 18 games. So that's a two-shot foul. Uh, Booney to the line at 81%. And there's a 12. It's good. And there's a six. Boone is on the board. And so are the Dallas Chaps. Two to one. Guard defense. Merv Jackson over Coombs. Five. That is a basket. Merv Jackson scores. And no assist on the play. So the Stars now lead 3-2. Center defense. Smith over Johnson. That's a three. That's a steal by Easy Ed. Turnover. John Smith. Fast break opportunity, middle lane. That's going to be an 11. That's the center RG. And easy, yeah, it's ambling down there. He gets a 7, and that's a pass. Whew, that 8's an offensive foul. That would have been quick, quick yank out of the game with a foul trouble there. But here's Larry Miller. Defender's card, Beasley. And that's an 8. No good by Miller. My limited games with Miller, he has not shot the ball very well. Rebound. 18-17, uh, automatic rebound for John Smith because they're the home team. Chaps on the fast break opportunity left. That's a 7. Guard RG, the rifleman Coombs, 5. 3 ball on the break. Glenn Coombs, 8. It's no good. That's your Kentucky rifle for you. Rebound, offensive forward with 2 dice. Looks like he's got it automatically. Big Cincy Powell. Big C. Powell gets the ball back to Boone. Boone's going up. Pattern play. He draws the foul on George. One shot foul. Booner. 11 drills it. He's got three free throws. Scores all knotted at three. Center P column. Easy end. Six. He scores. Ed Johnson. Nice basket for Ed. Stars. Five three. Assist. Merv Jackson. Here come the chaps. John Beasley, the All Star. That's a nine. That's no good. Beasley struggled a little bit too for me. Rebound. Offensive guard with one die. Doesn't even need it. It's Glenn Coombs going to be going up. Coombs backs in. Seven. Offensive foul, Coombs. Coombs does pick up a few fouls. And Coombs has one. Center peak on him. Here comes Easy Ed. Seven. He's passing that ball. Oh, he's going to get the ball again. He can't pass it right now. That's an eight. No good by Easy Ed Johnson. Easy Ed's good for 11.8 points per game in about 29 minutes. Rebound on that ball. Ooh, it could be. Looks like an easy offensive rebound for Merv Jackson. Merv hands the ball off. To Screamin' George over Boone. That's a six. That's a foul. And Boone quickly with two fouls. I can't believe how quickly he gets fouls. I'm going to play him safe just a little bit. Um, man. One shot foul for Leon. Eight. Screamin' George gets it. And it's six to three. Stars doubling up early. Here we go. Booner. Trying to get some offense done before he picks up another foul. Defensive center over Johnson. Five, another foul. Oh, my goodness. Ed Johnson is picked up, too. We'll probably be removing him out of the game after these free throws. Boone with two shots. Boone is just living at the free throw line right now. Makes it. Makes it. Boone is five for five from the line. 
Six to five. They're trailing, but they did get their big, big guy in foul trouble. We're going to go three minutes with Easy Ed Johnson. They need him in this game. Coming in for Ed. It looks like it's going to be. Let's do it. Let's go with the all-star. Warren Davis, versatile player, can play forward, play center. This is the playoffs. I can't go with who is their usual backup. I think they've got they've got Dennis Gray sitting there. Let's take a look at Gray real quick. He did get in 23 min minutes a game, but I'm going to go with Warren right now just to they keep the offensive pressure on. Uh, John Smith is not a huge offensive threat, so you won't have to play that much defense against him. So easy, Ed. Where's Ed? Number 50 takes a seat. And checkmate enters the game with his team up by one. Three minutes in, here comes the Stars. Center, go right to Warren. And it's a seven, it's good. Warren Davis lays it in. Yeah, assist guard three, that'll be Merv. Picking up assist number two. Chap, Dallas Chaps have yet to score. They are 0 for, 0 for 3 from the floor. But they do have five free throws, all by Ron Boone. Cincy Powell over Larry Miller. That's an 8. That's a pass. Forward P column. Cincy 5. No good by Powell. And Dallas has yet to make a field goal. Rebound. Offensive board easily for Glenn Coombs. Hands the ball back to the alternate. That's Booner. Boone over Lehman. That's an 8 over Warren Davis. 12. Steal by Warren. Turnover Boone. The All-Star with a steal. Fast break opportunity middle lane. That's a 7. There goes Lehman. 3. He traveled with the ball. Screaming George gets the first turnover for the Stars. It's 8-5. to five. Powell shoots it, drills it. Cincy Powell says enough of this. No basket, no two-pointer things. So it's 8-7 now. Cincy Powell is on the board. Triggerman for the Stars. Larry Mills has got to have a good game, and he's 0 for 2. Just missed another one. Streaky shooter. Rebound off of John Smith easily. There's not much rebounding on those that front line. Middle lane for Dallas. It's an 11. They hold it up. Dallas kind of controls ball control. Cliff Hagen does not like to run. Here comes the playmaker. Defender's card. That's a 7. That's no good by Boone. Shooting woes continue. 1 for 6 for the Chaps. Rebound. Defensive strong forward. Stone. Forward defender's card. George Stone over over Powell. That's a foul on Powell. One shotter. Third team foul. Stone nine makes it. George gets on the board with his first. It's nine seven. Stars. Alternate triggerman. Boone gets the ball one more time. Six. That's not no good. Boone's over three. Rebound offensive strong forward automatically. John Beasley backs in. The All Star needs a basket. Six. That's going to be basket two to eight and ten. And he drills it. John Beasley off the offensive glass. First field goal for John. And the game is all knotted at nine. The All Star ties it up. Center defense. 
Warren, checkmate Davis four. It's a foul on John Smith, and that will be his first. He's got to watch it too, much like Easy Ed Johnson. Two shots for Warren Davis. Seven, good. And a five, Ed is good. The 66% foul shooter drills and bolts. Warren has four. 11-9 stars. Forward defense. Cincy. Big C. Powell. Defender. Seven. That's a miss by Cincy. Rebound. Forwards battle. Larry Miller. Two dice. He easily gets that one with two dice. 12 to 11. Forward defense. Stone over Powell. That's a 10. That's a foul again on Cincy. Powell. Two on him. They'll play him safe. they got to keep him in the game for a little bit. Uh, that is the fifth team foul on Dallas. You need six for penalty here, so it's still a one-shot foul. Radar got it. Radar hits another one-pointer. He's got two one-pointers. 12 to 9. Stars staying tight with these guys. The crowd's not really into it yet. Cincy over Miller 4. Steal by Larry Miller. That's a fast break opportunity down the middle lane. Here we go. Stars, can they run? 10, playmaker RG, screaming George. 5, he is drawing the foul on a mystery man. Who is it? It's on Glenn Coombs. And Coombs now has two fouls. No one likes that. We'll play him safe a little bit. Two-shot foul for George Lehman. 3, he's got it. 9, he's got it. Scream and George, they are picking up a lot of free throws. Maintain this lead. 14 to 9. Playmaker Defenders card. Ron Boone over Lehman. Six. Good. Ron Boone finally connects over the mediocre defense of Lehman. Assisted by Cincy Powell. Dallas hitting. 30% from the field. That's probably 3 for 10. And it's 14-11. Going to go to the forward at the halfway mark of the first. It's a 12 assist. George Stone making a name for himself. I played one game. He got injured in the first minute or two, and I never got to, never saw him again. Basket by Merv Jackson. Sixteen eleven. Dallas out of the ball. We will shuffle. All right. Minor substitution. We're going to put Charles Beasley. Charlie Beasley and playing with John Beasley. No relation. Uh, coming in for Ron Boone, who has two fouls. So here comes Dallas. Trailing by five. Strong forward. Beasley. John. Basket four to nine. Beasley on its way. No good. He had the odds in his favor, but it just didn't fall. Rebound, Stoney. Mass break opportunity, right lane, two, forward defender's card. Stone over Powell, seven, no good by George. Rebound, forwards battle, and it's Cincy Powell, even with the foul trouble, playing safe, grabs the board. Hands it off to the triggerman. Cincy goes in for turnover. Bad pass. Powell. Five turnovers for Dallas. Scar defense. Merv, four. Foul. Coombs, there's no way to stop it either. That is a third foul on Glenn. Glenn has to leave the game. Uh, let's get some free throw shot here. That's a seventh team foul. Two full shots for Merv. That's a five good and a nine good. Herb Jackson makes two free throws. We'll make a sub. 18-11. Back to live action. Cliff Hagen, player coach, enters the game. We're kind of short on guards on the Dallas team, I noticed. So I'm glad that old man Hagen has the ability to play guard in a pinch. So here we go. I gotta get Coombs out of there right a second here.
All right. Strong forward. Whoops, one second. All right, strong forward P column. That's Beasley. That's an eight, no good. Jones one for four. Rebound, offensive playmaker, Cliff Hagen. Coach Hagen, open, RG column. Here he goes, nine, uh, scores. Cliff Hagen, instant offense. They needed something. Cliff Hagen played in 35 games and uh, was a tremendous uh, player in limited minutes, although he wasn't very popular with his his uh, teammates he was kind of kind of a ball hog they said and a little loud in the locker room so cliff averaged 11.1 points in 17 minutes a game and shot a robust 510 from the field 85 percent from the line and also dealt a number of assists per game 3.3.5 assists so he's he ran the offense when he's in the game but uh, i gotta limit his use he's almost too good for for uh playing super minutes like he did in the first year in the ABA and during his Hall of Fame NBA career. Forward George Stone. That's a six. It's good. Stone. And the Stars are not backing down. They do not want to leave. They do not want this to be their final game of the season. And the uh, Dallas Chaps, they know they've got to come through with this play-in victory. Beezer. Nine, no good by Beasley. One for five. Slow start for John. Rebound. That's going to be an offensive rebound for John Beasley. Back to John Smith, who's not a very good shooter, misfires. Rebound guards battle. Well, Charlie's in the game now, so it's uh, an easy rebound for... Uh-oh, one second, I've got it. All right, little scoring mistake. Forward P column, here comes George. 11, he's fouled. Who's the foul going to be on? It's the center. It's John Smith second. We might be removing John Smith pretty quick here. He just picked up another foul. Uh, that's a three to make two for George Stone. That's an eight. Good. Nine good. George Stone and the L.A. Stars. Shooting 92.3 from the foul line. Have opened up a nine-point lead. And I am going to remove John Smith from the game. Manny, a powerful rebounder at um, 9.8 rebounds per game in 27 minutes. Started the year, I believe, in... New York with the Nets. He might have been on three teams this year. I'm not positive. But he's a capable backup center. We'll see what happens here. And uh, Dallas definitely needs him right now. So we got Playmaker Defenders card. Have Little Abner Hagen over Lehman. Six scores. Lehman's given up a few points. Dallas, welcome those. Let's just, nope. Alternate trigger man for them. It's Lehman screaming George. A nine. That's a missed shot for George. Well. That was George's first shot. I was just checking that out. I'm like, how many shots has he taken? Uh, rebound's going to go to Cincy Powell, even playing safe. Gets that board. Here comes Dallas. Chance to close the gap. Here comes Cliff. Five. He's got it, Cliff Hagen. That is a fantastic card for Cliff Hagen. Cliff has come off the bench for six points. I almost, almost feel unfair playing him so much because he's got a lot of points per minute played. Check in Manny Leakes.
So we've got a 22-17 score after the Hagen basket. Forward defense, George Stone over Cincy Powell, 12. Oh, foul number three on Powell. That is not a good thing. That is the ninth team foul of the period. Holy cow, that's three on Powell. Well, two shots for Radar Stone. We'll see what happens here, and we'll take out Cincy. Two free throws good by George Stone. And twenty-four seventeen lead. I was just gonna check the free throw totals for the fourteen for fifteen on the game for the stars. That's a lot of free throws in one period. We still have three minutes to go. I will make a substitution since he pal is leaving the game. Checking in for the Dallas Chaps is Reine, Reinhold Lockman. Uh, streaky shooter. Let's see what happens with old Reine. 304 left. Uh, it's usually Coombs on the alternate Triggerman side, but he's out. Boone is out. Uh, who's our backups? Powell first and John Beasley second. All right. Going into the bottom of the barrel, John Beasley, the all-star. Two charging on John, John Beasley. One on John. That was a huge one, though. You'd expect John to come through for you. Warren Davis over Leaks 11. Steal by Manny Leaks. And a fast break opportunity off of this. That's a six. That's a playmaker run and gun column. Little Abner. Nine. He scores on the break. Cliff Hagen is saving their bacon right now. He's four for four. Eight points. 24-19. Without Clifford Hagen, they are not in this game. LA Stars come back. Wondering what that old man's doing to them. Here comes Larry. Larry pumps it up. No good again. Larry once again not coming through in the clutch. Rebound. Strong forward. It's Beasley having no trouble on the boards. If you could just hit a shot, the Chaps would love it. Left lane on the fast break. Five. That's a forward defender's card. Riney Lockman over Miller. Five good. Lockman for two. 24-21, someone besides Hagen made a field goal for the Chaps. We're now shooting 42% from the floor. They've kind of upped it. Alternate trigger man Lehman over Beasley. That's a seven. It's good. George Lehman. One for two from the floor. 26-21. Alternate Triggerman. Looks like it's going to be John Beasley for the rest of this period. Over Stone. That's a pass. Center P. Pattern play for 10. Offensive foul on Leaks. This team is just fouling a ton. Of course, that does not count as a team foul. But still, 19 fouls plus multiple offensive fouls. This is not going to bode well for the Chaps. Play, uh, forward defense. Six, that's another foul. That's Ronnie Lockman. Not the greatest defender. One shot foul means two more free throws for George Stone. A five is no good. And an 11 is good. Twenty-seven, twenty-one. Stars winning the battle so far. Lockman. P column, seven, no good. Rebound. Looks like Warren Davis has the board. Stars. Middle lane. Let's see what happens here. Nine held up. L.A. sets it up. Stone over Lockman. Nine battles Manny Leaks at center. Seven, it's good. George Stone coming through for the Stars. Back up to an eight-point lead.
And there's an assist to screaming George Lehman right there. 29-21. Uh, Stars hitting 53.8 from the floor. Chaps only 40.0. Strong forward Beezer. Five, six, it's good. John Beasley finally hits two for six from the floor, keeping him within six. It's still easily within range. No no worries there, little Abner. Hagen with an assist all over the place on offense. A little slow on defense, though. Center defense. Checkmate. Turnover bad pass by Warren Davis again. Another turnover. Manny Leak's doing the job on the defensive end. Little Abner. Four. No good. He's human. Misses the field goal. Rebound. Tip chart. Twelve. What is that? Uh, basket tip in. Offensive playmaker. And uh, so what was that? Playmaker. Abner missed. Tip in. Offensive playmaker. So it actually Cliff Hagen tips in his own missed shot. Holy cow. Right place, right time for Cliff Hagen. Once again, amazing. All right, 29-25. This game is getting closer. Guard defense. Merv over Cliff. Eight. Defensive center, Manny Leaks. Good. Merv Jackson drills it. 31 for the Stars. Not much defense being played so far by the Chaps. Assisted by Larry Mills Miller, who's done very little despite being one of their leading, maybe their leading scorer at 17.0. No points for him so far. Manny Leaks over Warren. That's a seven. No good. Good defense by Warren Davis. Manny with the miss. Rebound. Guards battle. It's going to be Merv Jackson. He's having no trouble. Out rebounding Beasley. Guard, Merv Jackson, 11. That's a steal by Hagen. On the offensive card. And Hagen's in the right place at the right time. Handed him the ball. 31-25. Here comes John Beasley, the all-star. Nine. He can't hit. Two for seven. Rebound. Center. Look at the rebounding of Manny Leakes off. Offensive board with a 22 versus a 16. No chance for Warren. Strong forward defense. It's a four. That is a foul on Stone. First foul on George Stone, though. A fourth team foul. It is a two-shot foul. John Beasley comes through with the first free throw. And the second. Beasley with six points. Guard, here comes Merv Action Jackson. It's the magician. Uh, six, that's a miss by Merv Jackson. Rebound, offensive center, 17, defensive, strong forward. Well, Beasley gets a four. You add four, and he grabs that rebound. John Beasley had a solid rebounding year. Going for the buzzer shot. It's going to be Coombs Boone. It's going to be Beasley. P. Collum, Beasley, they need him. 11, basket 4-9 to nine again here. And he scores at the buzzer. John Beasley, assisted by Charlie Beasley, who hasn't done anything. There's your first quarter score. Stars, 31. Chaps, 29. Leading scorer in the game, George Stone with 11 points. Leading the Dallas Chaps is Cliff Hagen with 10 points. This is our tournament, the ABA tournament. This is playing game number three. This is the Dallas, the Dallas LA portion of that play-in bracket. Whoever wins this uh, gets to go and face the New Orleans Buccaneers, one of the toughest teams in the league. Uh, nobody knows about. They all hear about how well the Pacers played at the end of the year. Uh, but New Orleans actually won more games by two, I think 46 to 44. So this Dallas LA game is pivotal, and we'll catch the game a little bit later, and I'll have a report for you 
when that comes up. And in the meantime, if you're enjoying this content, please think, think about subscribing if you haven't already to Rod's Tabletop Hoops. Anyway, we will be back soon. Hello everybody, welcome back to Rod's Tabletop Hoops on YouTube. We're in the fourth period, the Chaps and the Stars battling. It was a close game for, at least at halftime, it was 55 to 50, 63-55. Uh, Chaps, after the Stars had a 31-29 lead after one. Uh, third quarter, uh, Dow, uh, L.A. started to fumble a little bit with the ball, a lot of turnovers. They're currently sitting on 19 turnovers, although the uh, Chaps also have 17 turnovers. Um, George Lehman was kind of a Jekyll and Hyde. He popped in uh, three three-point home run balls in the third period. Screaming George was on fire there, but unfortunately he also turned the ball over a handful of times and gave away a few possessions for the Stars. This is a play-in game. As you can see down here, the winner of this gets to face, gets the luxury of facing uh, the New Orleans Buccaneers, a very difficult team in a three-game series on the road. This is a play-in game of one, and we will have three-game series throughout the playoffs, and that will start as soon as this final play-in game is complete. So here we go in the fourth quarter, 94-85, and uh, we're having uh, the stars are having to uh, improvise offensively. They're just not clicking. Larry Miller has not been hitting. Uh, leading scorers in this game are, very quickly, 17 points for George Stone, 18 for Lehman, thanks to those three-pointers, 15 for Merv Jackson on the stars. The uh, Japs. By contrast, are led by John Beasley with 28. He's 9 for 18 from the floor, 10 of 10 from the foul line. He has 13 rebounds. He's really stepped up his game since a slow start. Uh, 11 for Ron Boone, battling foul trouble. Glenn Coombs just picked up his first four points, but he has four fouls, battling four trouble, foul trouble. Uh, 15 for Cliff Hagen off the bench. And Cliff's going to get a few scant minutes to start this quarter because Booney has three fouls and Coombs, Combs has four. So let's get a jump ball going and we'll get this thing started. Let's see. I'm going to continue with easy Ed Johnson because they need the boards. Two for Ed, plus one is only a three. Manny Leakes has a one, and a four is a five. Manny Leakes, the uh, starting center, John Smith, is in foul trouble for Dallas. So Manny's going to go the long haul. Hall and the Dallas fans hope they can make the playoffs. Here's a guard, Charles Beasley. Eight, passes the ball off. Center defense, Manny Leakes. Ten, passes, 24 second call. That is hanging on to the ball too long. Good defense by the Stars. We'll come back with a strong forward. Warren Davis, the all-star, puts it in. One got a break in the third quarter because they wanted to see what they could do with their offense, but nothing was clicking. Uh, let's see, except for George Lehman, of course, assisted by Bobby Warren, who's starting this quarter for a few minutes. We're going to go with two alternative backcourts for each each team, the, the reserves. We'll see how long, how well they do. Cincy Big C Powell, battle foul trouble in the first half, comes back, scores, and since he's had a very good second half with now 14 points total on the night. 90, okay, keep up with the score. 96, 87. Come the stars. Warren, defender's card. Hagen, seven, foul Cliff. And just like everybody else, Cliff has now picked up foul number four. One shot foul. Um... The Colonel, that's a nine, it's good. Bobby Warren puts one in. 88-96, still anybody's game. A good streak 
by either team, and this game is much closer or a blowout. Here comes Charlie Beasley, no good. Rebound offensive strong forward, John Beasley. Going to go a few extra minutes tonight. Goes up with a shot. Seven. Good. And possibly the foul. Let's find out. 98-88. Foul on the guard. Nope. George Lehman still playing safe, as is Beasley. Those two guys are valuable. Strong forward. Warren Davis. Four. Passes. Triggerman. Warren Davis scores again. Warren Davis. Two points. He has seven on the night. Assist George Stone. Playing him in lieu of Miller, who's just struggling. He's in a funk. Charles Beasley. Eight. Pass. Playmaker defense. Hagen. Eleven. Foul. Warren. One shot foul. Warren with three. A lot of fouls in this game. And Hagen drills the free throw. Oh, 99 to 90. I'm slow on the, the draw here. 99 90. Center P column. Easy at Johnson at the four. No good. No good by Easy Ed. Rebound, centers battle. And it looks as if Manny Leakes will get that rebound. He's playing with four fouls. Seems like everybody has four fouls. 9.28 to go. Here's the center. Manny misfires. Not the highest percentage shooting big man in the league, but he can rebound and defend. Rebound. Strong forward. Warren Davis, the all-star. And let's see, left lane, let's see what happens here. Six, guard, RG, Bobby the Colonel. That's a six, scores and is fouled, perhaps, unless it's on Beasley. Uh, Bobby Warren, basket, let's see here. And 99-92, we'll check for the foul, see who it's on. It is just a basket. It was going to be on Beasley, so good thing I'm playing those guys safe. They, they're way too valuable to be fouling out. They're backing off. They know their offense is very important. And there's an assist. Cliff Hagen, Little Abner. Chaps hit the century mark. Let's see who the basket goes to. It's going to be Charles Beasley. And it's now 102.91. Guard defense. Seven. Foul, Cliff Hagen. That's his fifth. Oh my gosh. Foul a little bit, why don't you? Free throw. One shot. Warren. Six. Good. One on one ninety-three. Let's see, we're at the three minute mark. Let's just go another minute or two here. Center defense. Leaks over Johnson. Nine. Scores! Manny Leaks. Puts in the big hoop. 103-93. Triggerman. Who is it? Warren Davis. 11. Oh, we got a charge on Warren Davis. That was huge. Only the second foul on Warren. Strong forward defense. Seven. He scores, John Beasley. Adding to a super night, 32 points. Assisted by Brother Charlie. Not really his brother. And it's 105-93. And the Dallas Chaparrells are looking to play their way into the playoffs here. Turnover for Easy Ed Johnson. No offense clicking for the L.A. Stars and Bill Sharman's coaching this team. Playmaker. Eight fouled. 
Cliff Hagen draws the foul on the center. Easy Ed Johnson. And so that'll be three on Easy Ed. Cliff with two shots. A five is good. And a two. Four to nine is good. Cliff Hagen doing the job. Uh, coaching and free throw making. 107. 93. We're going to have a timeout right here and see what the LA Stars must do to rectify this situation. All right, we're back. The only changes made were Ron Boone entering the game for Cliff Hagen and Merv Jackson returning into the game for the Colonel Bobby Warren. Their uh, season is on the line. They need anything they can offensively. So let's see what happens with the LA Stars. Forward defense, down 14, 107.93. That's an eight. Good. George Stone. And that's 107.95. Stoney. Um, 19 for Stone. Playmaker, Charlie Beasley. That's a five. That's no good by Charles. Rebound. Stone is looking for that board. Yeah, George gets it. Hands the ball off the playmaker being guarded by Charlie Beasley for pass. Strong forward. Warren. Three. Bad pass. Another turnover for Warren. He's turning the ball over quite often. That's just not going to feed the Bulldog. Here's the strong forward. Beezer hits John Beasley. You can't stop him now. 109 95. And uh, John Beasley now is up to 34 points in about as many minutes. Guard defense. Booner foul number five on Ron Boone. That's only the third team foul, so one shot. Good. Merv. One oh nine ninety six. Booner's playing safe. We'll see if he can last the rest of the game or not. Forward. Cincy drills it. Cincy Powell. Since early foul trouble, Cincy Powell has just been a man. He's got sixteen now. Strong forward. Warren. Checkmate. Uh, Beasley playing safe basket by Warren Davis. Assist, screaming George. Forward defender's card. Cincy over Stoney. Misfire by Powell. Rebound. Strong forward Warren Davis on the board. Sorry, 111.90. I miss the scoring here. It's 111.98 just to be on top of things. Forward. Stone. 11. He is hammered. But two of the guys are playing safe. But it's going on leaks. His fifth. Five on Manny. Andy Manny. Well, forward George Stone goes to the free throw line. Two shots. That's an 11. He's got it. Five. He missed the second. Ninety nine one eleven. Free throw rebound goes to John Beasley. Coming down to the halfway mark of the period. Final period. Manny leaks four. Draws the foul on Easy Ed. And now Easy Ed has slipped into his fourth. Yes, his fourth foul. A one-shotter for Manny Leakes. Eight. It's no good. Rebound. Strong forward, Warren Davis. 
And we're going to have a timeout while we shuffle cards and get our final six-minute lineups. Game on. Made a wholesale change as Larry Miller has returned to the game. Uh, slid Warren Davis into the center slot. Dallas, I have been re put center John Smith back in. And um, that's pretty much the only one I removed. Manny Leaks with five fouls. Uh, we've got two guys playing safe because of the fifth Fifth foul on well Coombs has four. Boone has four. Well, it's hard to believe he's only got four. Let's take Boone off. And Coombs off. They both have four. They don't have five. Okay. Here we go. Final six minutes. We'll see what happens. Does it go to overtime? Do they come back? We'll find out. Here comes the stars forward. Stony. Misfires. Rebounded by the guards. Boone cannot get it over Merv Jackson. And Merv grabs the offensive rebound. Alternate triggerman. For the Stars, George Screaman Lehman over Coombs. That's an eight. Defensive center Smith. That's a five. That's a pass. Comes the forward. Radar. Misfires again. They need... Someone to hit. Could have used that basket. Rebound offensive center. They're going to get another chance. And it's going to be Warren Davis. Moves the clock. Eight scores and is fouled. Warren Davis. Eight and a quarter. A uh, foul is going to be on. A guard. That will be Boone. And that will be five on Ron Boone. So, how many team fouls is that? It's five team fouls. One shot for Warren Davis. Eight. Good. He needed that. Back down to nine. Warren Davis. Nine in the period. 17 in the game. Forward defense. Cincy over Larry. That's a 10. That's a bad pass by Cincy Powell. Well, he could use a three by screaming George Lehman. Lehman with the ball. That's a 10. He draws the foul. It's on the forward, Cincy Powell. That is 16 fouls. It's going to be three to make two for George Lehman. Four on Cincy Powell. Six, good. Four, no. One more for Big George, or Little George. Makes two out of three, George Lehman. That gives him 20 points, and it is 111-104. This game is not over. Need some clutch shooting. Here's Boone. Boom, he makes it. Nice jump shot. Ron Boone puts them back up by nine. Will it be enough? Playmaker defense. Lehman over Coombs. Five. Good. George Lehman. One thirteen. One oh six. Trigger man defense, Beasley, John, defender, no good. Rebound, picked up by Miller, if he can get at least a, nope, he only got a one. Oh my goodness, offensive rebound, Cincy Powell, he did a two through six. Back to Beasley, nine, no good again by John Beasley. Rebounded. Tip chart. Injured player, perhaps. Uh-oh. Could be trouble. Let's see who this could be. That's a nine. Visiting teams forward. Stone. George Stone is injured for how long? Eleven. Injured for the next two games. Oh, my gosh. George Stone must leave. 
So we'll pause for a timeout while we make that change. All right, we have returned. Easy Ed Johnson will return to the game. The injury to to uh, George Stone. Uh, that was a two-game injury, I believe. Yeah, he'll be injured for two games if the Los Angeles Stars advance to the playoffs. So it is. It could be very impactful if if they do not uh, if they win come back and win this game. So either way, the home team is awarded the ball after that injury. It's one thirteen to one oh six. Easy Ed Johnson at center. Warren Davis slides back down to the forward slot, and let's go. Dallas. Their clutch man is John Beasley. Defender's card is Warren Davis. Good. Beasley scores on Davis. And um, we have now got a 115-106 game. That was huge. That injury was huge. Stone had 20 points and 10 boards, 5 of 12 from the field, 10 of 12 from the line. Um, guard. Merv, nine, he draws a foul. And that's going to be on Beasley. That's his fifth. We'll play John Beasley safe. They're over the limit with 17 fouls. Three to make two for Merv. Good. Merv Jackson misses the second. He's going to need the penalty shot. And he makes it. That's 115, 108, still within striking distance. Alternate triggerman. Booner over Jackson. That's a four. He scores! Boone over Jackson. And it's 117, 108. That was a huge bucket with 304 to go. Center defense. Easy head over Smith. That's a nine. That's a foul on John Smith. That'll be five on Smith. We'll play Smith safe. He's a pretty valuable guy. Um, that's going to be two shots for Easy Ed, who's not a good foul shooter. He misses the first and the second. Easy Ed struggling after making more earlier, making some free throws. Back-to-back -back misses. That's got to hurt. Down by nine. Rebound by Beasley, who's just corralling all the rebounds. Um, even though the Stars are still 493 from the floor. And the forward, Cincy Powell, he passes. They're playing the clock down at 228. It's got to keep their players in the game, keep them from fouling out. Here's Booney with a chance, 2-7. to seven. No, he misfires. That one really could have put the Stars in peril. Rebound, Miller. Fast break opportunity, right lane. For the Stars, six, that's a forward. Larry Miller, seven, he's fouled by Powell. Powell has five. Smith has five. Boone has five. It's crazy. Combs has four. Larry Miller's going to go to line. Three to make two. Does he need all three? Makes the first. He's going to need all three. He makes two out of three. One, 17, one, 10. Miller with only eight points. Playmaker. Booner hits it. Ron Boone. 17 for Boone. One, 19, one, 10. Strong forward defense. They got to get within striking range. They want to shoot threes. Six. No goodbye, Davis. Good defense. Rebound. Offensive guard. Nine. Yep. Merv gets it. Merv gets the offensive board. Back to Merv Jackson, the magician. Seven. No good. Rebound, offensive guard again, same guard. Merv Jackson says, I'm going to grab my third offensive rebound of the period for a guard that's pretty darn good. Warren Davis, no good. 
They're getting a little tired, it looks like, and there's not enough time to rescue them. Uh, Larry Mills Miller gets the offensive rebound with Powell playing safe. Another offensive rebound. Miller's going up. Scores! He could be fouled. We don't know. There's a lot of guys playing safe. 119-112. Who's the foul on? It's just a basket. Powell's playing safe. So, alternate triggerman. Boom. Trying to put it away. No good. Rebound defensive center. Easy Ed Johnson. Left lane opportunity, 10, no. Strong forward, Warren Davis. Misfires again. Warren's missed three in a row in an inopportune moment here. Rebound. Well, let's see. Beasley's down to a 13, so he needs at least a three. He's got it. Super John Beasley can't do anything wrong this half. 36 points, 17 rebounds, and now he's going to try to run a fast break. Left lane four. Nope. Holds it up smartly. Dallas, strong forward defender's card. Beasley over Davis. Five, it's a foul, Warren Davis. One shot foul, three on Davis. Fourth team foul, and it's good. John Beasley busting those free throws. They've reached 120. It might be over here. Guard. Merv, three. Offensive foul. Merv. It's the fourth time I've gotten that offensive foul. And Merv is on foul number five. Playmaker. Booner. Four. Bad pass. Trigger, and they got to get like another basket here to get within range. Miller, a three-point attempt, two to ten. It's a three-bomb. He's going up. It's no good. Miller just can't contribute today. Three for 15. Offensive playmaker. What is that? Five. Defensive guard. Four, so offensive playmaker George Lehman will grab the offensive rebound. Strong forward Warren Davis. Nine, he scores on Beasley because he's playing safe. But it's probably too little too late. Um, 114 to 120. We'll have the, tr the, the press on. I want to find press cards if, if it comes up. Nope, alternate triggerman. Booner, 11. Assist, Boone. This game is over. This game is over, and the Dallas Chaps are going to advance to the playoffs. Points go to Glenn Combs, who finished with six, has six points now. Playmaker, P column, 122, 114. Six, three-point three point attempt by George Lehman. No. No good. Rebound. Defensive center, John Smith. Grabs the board. He's got five. It doesn't matter. Smith only had one point today. Left lane, nine. No outlet. They'll run out the clock. Glenn Combs at the buzzer. Seven, he passes it off, and that's the ball game. The Dallas Chaparral, Chaparrals win this 122-114. They were led by John Beasley. 37 points, 13 of 24 from the field, 11 of 11 from the line. 13 defensive rebounds, only two turnovers in 42 minutes of play. Cincy Powell, 16 points. Ron Boone, 17 points. Manny Leakes, 11 rebounds off the bench uh, for the Stars. Uh, they're led by George Stone with 20. George Lehman actually got 22. 7 of 11 from the field, 3 of 5 from the line, 5 of 6 free throws. 
unfortunately he had six turnovers just like Merv Jackson. So seven turnovers for Warren Davis, 23 turnovers on the game, 20 turnovers for the Ch Chaps as well. So it was not the best handling of basketball, but uh, the home team came through with the victory. They slowly pushed themselves away from the lesser team, which was the Stars. So going to the playoffs will be the Dallas Chaparrells. They'll be facing the New Orleans Buccaneers in the best of three. I'll have a few stats uh, after this, but uh, have a good evening and afternoon. And uh, that is all from Rod's Tabletop Hoops. So long.